The Morgan Report with David Morgan. Discover how to build and protect your wealth at themorganreport.com. David Morgan of themorganreport.com for the weekly perspective for the week ending 22, March 2024. Well, I'm on the landing page for Silver Sunrise. I think most of you that follow me weekly know what this is all about. And really, this documentary is a kind of accumulation of all I've done for four decades or more. And I'm pretty excited about it. By the way, I was just off of uh, the Foster Gamble monthly call, and uh, it's always enlightening. And Foster is pretty much set up for the next interview, which we're excited to to get filmed. So moving on, I'm going to do a little something a little bit different this uh, weekly update. And let me get it up on screen here. We can talk about it. This is something I have talked about in the past. I uh, don't talk about it too often, but it's really the um, magic of compound interest. And of course, the website here is a little offbeat name. It's live-counter.com talking about compound interest. And it talks about the magic of compound interest, as you can read, if you had invested one cent at the time of the birth of Jesus with a compound interest rate of 5%, would have a value today of the number of pure gold balls, each the size of the earth, shown below, which is 70,375,060. And that number will change in a few short minutes. I'm going to read part of this to you. On the right hand column, says you don't believe this. No need to use a formula with a simple trick. You can mentally reconstruct the exponential nature of compound interest. Take one cent. It doubles every 15 years with a 5% interest rate, making two cents. 30 years, four cents. 45 years, eight cents. 60 years, 16 cents. You get the idea. So you can see that every 150 years, there's a thousand-fold increase in cents. So a thousand thousand is a million. A thousand million is a billion. A thousand billion is a trillion. So the equation is simple. 150 years, 1,000 cents, 300 years, 1 million cents, 450 years, 1 billion cents, 600 years, 1 trillion cents. After 600 years, we have $10 billion in your bank account. Add another 600 years simple, you multiply a factor of 1 trillion. That is $10 billion trillion over 1,200 years. And after 1,800 years, $10 billion trillion trillion. Or in gold terms, 312 trillion trillion tons equal to 52 times the weight of the earth. And in the other column, it goes through by years in dollars, and it goes through basically the same math in a different way. And it talks about uh, the numbers here. You have the equivalent of Earth-sized gold balls, 1,800, 1,300 of them, the year 2000, 22 million of them, 2015, 47 million, and it goes on and on. So there is no way you can keep compound interest going indefinitely. And that's the real point. And yet we all are taught in finance school and we know in general life, if you buy a car and have seven years to pay it off and the interest rate is such and such, a good payment's gonna be thus and so. And you know, even when we do mining analysis, we look at the present value of money and predict what it'll be worth in the future, which means there'll be less because of the interest rate on money and on and on it goes, but it cannot go indefinitely. If it could, we see what the results are. So that is another reason that we're getting into the end game because you cannot com completely compound interest at the rate that we are now with the trillions in debt that the United States is and other nations as well and keep the game going much further without destroying the currency or having some type of reset where you do a reset of some type, maybe wiping out a great deal of the debt and starting over. So that's my point for this week. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm trying to come up with stuff that's a little odd or different or give you a little different perspective or something to think about uh, other than just uh, talk about the news and the financial markets. Of course, there's something really uh, substantive. I will I'll probably always report that. But for this week, it's David Morgan from TheMorganReport.com, signing out. Make a great weekend. What if I told you that you could go broke in less than 24 hours? That's how long it took for the Dow Jones Industrial Average to plunge by nearly 22%, losing investors billions overnight. The same happened to the FTX Crypto Exchange and Terra Luna Stablecoin. Both crashed overnight, losing crypto investors billions. 
you need a strategy that will protect whatever amount of savings you have now. We are going to witness the greatest transfer of wealth that has ever occurred in recorded history, and you must understand the following. You can absolutely go broke in one day. We've been helping subscribers weather this economic mess for years. Now it's time for you to get the same insights. What really happens during a major collapse is that the wealth changes hands. You will actually benefit by looking ahead and knowing exactly how to build and preserve your wealth. Putting just 10% or 20% of your wealth into our approach could make all the difference in your financial security and peace of mind over the next few years. Discover the Morgan Report today. Visit our site at themorganreport.com.